Foxy's groggy throats. Hey, Moxie. Like That's good. So it's hard to find an ultimately disappointing? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Moxie. Moxie, surprised you're not bright orange because that body is legendary. <laughs> nice. Reskinned jackpot machines, never a bad thing. Are there multiple floors to this area? No. Moxie, I'm surprised you're not bright orange because that body is legendary. Oh, that's the family. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, that's a bit of lore that I didn't know about. Okay, so you find out in the vanilla campaign that Ellie is Moxie's daughter, and obviously Scooter is Moxie's son because they're related brother and sister. There's a thing where it hints about Marcus and Moxie having a relationship, but I never knew that like it would be confirmed like this. So that's that's kind of awesome, actually. Anyway, Marcus the gunslinger, slayer thingy. Picture of the tavern, I assume. This is great. Ah, so happy with this. Hey, adventurer. It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. Um, yes, ma'am. Hey, stand in front of me! Hey, baby. I'm home like a vault monster. <laughs> but... Okay. Your mom! <laughs> I wish my hair was spikier. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Perhaps you could ally with the dwarves and form a resistance. <laughs> Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh, come on, all right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never see another douchey again, I promise. Yeah. Bitch! That is unacceptable! Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! Okay. The Queen is counting on you. There he is! <laughs> This makes no sense. Torg is ruining your campaign. I'm having fun. Well yeah. done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. Oh man, okay. Great. That's that's wonderful. In a random, twisted, completely nonsensical, utterly insane way. So yeah, kinda like it. Pretty good. Fun times. Uh, new mission. I want you to blow up the ocean. Can you please get him out of our way? All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks. Awesome. Anyway. I'm called Davin, the gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. Cool. So that's good to know. Um, but I do like doing side quests a lot. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go and see what other side quests we have available. Now that we've got that open, anyway. Plus, if we see any pumpkins along the way, like that one over there, for example, we can uh, smash them. Smash. 
three more pumpkins to go. Two. Uh, so like in any RPG, or any game with an RPG element to it, you always want to pick up side quests. Because if you go into a new area, you may very well have side quests in there too. And might as well do as many as you can in one shot. So that's going to be a good yeah. idea. That and I'm a completionist. Ooh. Ellie! You want XP? I got it! I got a problem. I'm supposed to be guarding this here town, but I ain't got any armor. Could you head to the forest and find me something that'll protect all this beautiful girl? Indeed I can. Games. No. Okay. What's what's up here? <laughs> Get up! Men belong in the gym. Mm, yeah, guess so. Alright! I got a sweet ass quest for you! First! Torg, why are you even playing? We all know you aren't actually interested in nerdy stuff, muscle boy. What? I can't like geek stuff just because I take care of my body? DISCRIMINATION! Can we get rid of this phony already? Ladies, ladies! I have an idea. Adventurers, you must find the three hidden questions of true geekiness! Torg, if you can answer my nerdy questions three, then a part of this game you shall be. Um, yeah, and it actually brings up an interesting point, right? Because, um, you know, strong muscle-bound guys aren't supposed to be nerdy. You know, they're supposed to want nothing to do with, with geeks and nerds and just want to punch them in the face. That's not necessarily true. I mean, you take, um, oh, what's his name? What's his name? Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel played D&D. And he played D&D while he was bouncing at a bar. So, yeah, maybe that's a reference to that. Who knows? I've got just the thing for you. Nice. New moxie weapon. Times are tough, sugar. Ever since the sorcerer cast his crumpocalypse spell, we've been running awful low on food. If you spot any crumpets, be a doll and grab them, would you? Wait, we can only bring the town crumpets? Tina, you know there are, like, other kinds of food, right? You haven't seriously been living on just crumpets for the last few years, have you? I do not understand the question. <laughs> crumpets are the bomb. Okay, there's another one in there, too, right? Fake geek guy, critical fail. Thanks again for taking care of those numbskulls. I left a gun for you kind of sort of nearby. Feel free to grab it, honey bear. Oh. Okay, well, fuck yeah. Where is it? In the forest. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, pumpkins? Looks like pumpkins. Is it? Oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Reginald von Bartlesby. Let's take a wild guess at who that would be. Oh, wait. No. No, I, I've seen this before. And I, I think I know what's going on with that. I want to find that last pumpkin. Where is it? There are a lot of mushrooms around here. A significant yeah. amount, almost as if this is some kind of trip, perhaps. Oh ho ho ho, oh ho ho ho, oh ho ho. Terrible joke. Seriously though, there's a freaking pumpkin. Pumpkin. Give me the pumpkin. I want the pumpkin, give me the pumpkin. Okay. Let me figure that out there. 
Uh, must find pumpkin pages. Bring to me the pumpkin of ages. Oh, hello. Can I... Probably gonna have to, right? Eh? Seriously, pumpkin, give me another pumpkin. I want to find the last pumpkin. So that all of these nice people don't have to watch me running around like an idiot for hours on end. Any more than they would have anyway. Pumpkin, where are you, pumpkin? I want you to find you and do things to you, my pumpkin friend. seen the pumpkin and they are raging their faces off right now because I didn't see it. Um, I'm sorry about that. Truly I am. But obviously I did not see it. So what do you want from me? Reginald von Bartleby, aristocrat and riddlemeister. If you can solve one of his brain teasers, you'll get a reward. Well met, adventurers. I have a riddle for you. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere, nowhere. What do you call me? Everybody roll your insight stat to see if you can solve that riddle. I shall repeat the riddle. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere. Rick, don't slam your dice onto the board. You broke Tina's figurine. Whoops. Uh, you won. Yay. Poor Tina. So what was the answer to the riddle? I don't know. <laughs> that's, uh, that's actually yet another reference. Because, um... Okay, so sometimes in D&D you want to spice things up, you don't always want to have monsters to kill. So you make these little riddles and, and contests and whatnot where you roll for your initiative or your insight or your dexterity or whatever. And in the case of riddles, you know, the DM doesn't really need to know. It's just if you roll a certain number or higher, then you win and you get to know what's up. Um, all right. What quest do we want to pursue? Hmm. Obviously not the story quest. 